some of the stuff up there came from that too. Oh really? Oh, some of your um. Mm -hmm. You saw this. Yeah, but we could walk through there if you want to explain some things to me, because <laughs> you're you're more knowledgeable than I for sure. Mm. I'm not. I'm familiar, but I'm not super familiar with a lot of the radio stuff. Okay. So you know, an explanation from you is going to be a lot easier than me trying to figure it out. Fifty signal generators. This came from Vancouver. Solid tape. Radio receiver. And here are the little lemur generator. These restorations, that's not mine, that's actually Andrew's who we've been meeting. Um, okay, I think I've seen, um, he's on, he's been on some videos, hasn't he? This thing? No, no, Andrew. Yeah, yeah. They sent a lot of high voltage stuff at one time in my giant lab, which I think is in the video from the new people on it. <clears throat> Uh, the one in your apartment? No, I had to use that industrial space. That was your own personal space? Mm-hmm. Okay. Made a mistake of moving in an apartment. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I had more, lot more stuff. I mean, it was... One transformer was two tons. Yeah, you just can't do the same stuff with the small stuff. You need that, you need that kind of uh, industrial space to really get stuff set up. Yeah. But you did pretty. You did make some seriously good use out of your apartment, though. This is two hundred and fifty pounds of it. Oh, three of them, of course. Yeah, everything was really packed in there. And I do have footage of that apartment. I think people should give me an engineering award. Uh, I think that you deserve one. <laughs> yeah. I'll well, give you one. <laughs> Holy cow! I'll give you. I'll give you one for the most use of space too. That was, yeah. impre that, that was impressive. So, uh, so I have the original. Actually, a journal, several journals covered it as a submarine only apartment. I got the tape. <laughs> Michael McCardle of News up in Canada has been following that stuff to right now, actually. Since 1979 to the present. <laughs> 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 He's done Facebook. But anyway. This came off of HMC Yukon, a Navy ship. It was on, in the office room. It's all solid state. Oh, is it? Uh, the ones prior to that used in the X Files were. No, I, I took them out. <laughs> were vacuum tube. Okay. You might remember the X Files as a submarine story. I've seen, I saw some on there, <laughs> and then you posted a couple of videos lately of the, some yeah. of it, little blips of it. I kind of landed there when they just left, and the set scene where the bridge was, or the uh, command center, I said, wow, you know, they sure put a lot of stuff in here. So. I had a lot of the X-Files set, I still do. So what would, um, <laughs> that's not too bad. I might actually be able to move that myself. <laughs> yeah, I well, I did. Yeah, it doesn't feel too bad. Like so track. what would that be originally used for then? Um, what is that actually... Incoming. The sonar? Oh, this is definitely not sonar. I mean, uh, okay. It's a repeater for radar. Oh, it's a repeater. Yeah. Okay. So the guy you're looking here... Anything out there, you coming in. So what would you be using this for? What is the repurpose that you would put it into? Um... Oh, I just think it's kind of neat to restore it. Okay. I couldn't leave it on in the ship going down with the ship. You know? No, uh, that's. <laughs> I feel your pain. I understand. Uh -huh. That's that's where that's why I always get myself in trouble. I just can't see stuff like let stuff like that go. Uh -uh. So I'm all for it. <laughs> uh, the taxi driver is busy for oh, quite a while. <laughs> Even when I took apart the 90 millimeter anti aircraft gun. <laughs> I had it arranged <laughs> where they come and pick me up at 5 in the afternoon. Really? So you just had a set transport and uh, pickup time and just went I've at it. I've been on that thing for a couple of months. No nice. videos of it, unfortunately. And God, I bought it for um, 200 bucks. Wow. From the Army. And it's, it's somewhere, part of it's still laying off somewhere, and hopefully my friends can find it.
<laughs> yeah, really. That's the crazy thing. Like, the the equipment now is worth so much more than it was, and yeah, you know, it's one of those. That's one of those things. If I only knew what I knew then, I knew now. I knew then, and that'd be. Oh God. You like? Have you? There were these things in here. You collecting these? I don't collect them. Nancy brought them in. Nancy did. Yeah. I actually rebuilt one of these. And it was it was a much nicer, more advanced one, but it it was nothing but circuitry. It had no, um, it had no like digital circuits. It was all tube. It wasn't tube, but it was in that transition period. Mm, yeah. And so it was kind of a there was a few ICs, and the rest of it was all uh, analog components. It was really it was really fun to work on. You can see some of my crazy papers. Because it was all tones and frequencies and all sorts of fun stuff. They managed to get all this stuff into digital format. Oh, you did or you are Nancy, uh, working on it? That's the stuff you're putting on your website, right? Yeah, all the lots of papers. I looked at, I saw some of it. Good old defense days. Actually, this is, I think, yeah, this is one of your films. Um, she did that in... Worked on this at my place. Oh, okay. That's my old phone number. 1991. Time flies. <laughs> yeah. It's got Tom Bearden. Okay, yeah. Mm hmm. Tom Bearden. That's uh, in stuff. Man, I remember working with her on that. <laughs> <laughs> I got lots of videos on here over in LA as well as uh, in. Yeah, yeah, so correspondence and all that cool stuff. I have also a huge stash of videos that uh, Nancy and Andrew transferred into digital as well. So a lot of stuff that's on the internet. Talked about here is true. Cool. <laughs> me or just a TV show. Be a lot more here. Whatever that means. So more so letters and letters and scientific stuff. The old anti gravity. <laughs> the old anti gravity stuff. Yeah, no point. Plus, if they had more advanced technology. Do Do you think that? Um, do you think that? Um, Ooh. Still, somebody was. Um, Original Exile set piece. <sighs> you don't want to turn around. Oh, why are they? Oh, I still got a lot of Exiles. What is that? Sorry. No, you're fine. Do you think some of the um, some of the technology that you were working on? Do you think that they've advanced it and actually done stuff with it? Or do you think that they still couldn't get it to where you had it? Oh, no, no. When I was working on it, they already had advanced technology. It was um, ceramics, actually. It was fuel gravity. They were working on that. That got super high priority because they're going to government uh, SBIR program. Small Business Innovative Program. And they send me all the latest stuff all the time. Okay. And no, no, they, they're ceramics, huh? Yeah. Doctor Robert, working Doctor Robert Ford, he got passed away. <coughs> but yeah, um, well, he's doing pretty barbaric. In real life, I think. So this is the ray gun, the, to the, back end of it, yeah. the twenty foot ray gun. That's a heck of a build. I watched a few of the, the videos of you guys building it. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's what Nancy was saying. You can hear it humming from here now. 
That's more than that's the control section of it. Is this the only equipment that's hooked to it? Uh, yeah, although there is down at the front end high voltage. Yeah. Oh, you can smell the ozone. Yeah, you can smell the ozone. <sighs> yeah, can you? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Big Still time. Faithfully. Big time. <laughs> Big time you can smell it. Mm hmm. Is it? I hope it. I use it very active. Oh, okay. There are three I voltage supply in it to direct current and alternating current as well as electrostatic. Fuck your friends inside. <laughs> but a lot of weird things happen. Just blow over, flash over. Just just below over flashover? Yeah, it's got flashover then it changes. Okay. So everything's under pressure kind of. Yep. So it's that static differential potential going on. So we're running at the um, hydrogen band. Which is here. Well, here. What's here. what's the frequency of the hydrogen hydrogen band? About fourteen twenty kilomegahertz. So about a gig and a gig, one gig point four. And these are both generators? Yeah, countermeasure system. Off a warship I got. <coughs> they come in handy. <laughs> and this is an army um, system. Actually for confusing radar. And have backup generators one down here. Oh, okay. And this is one that's operating the same area as well as this one. And let's back up. Okay. Uh, oscilloscope. oscilloscope. Yep. And over here. What frequency are these oscilloscopes? Gigahertz range? Uh, yeah. No. Um, EOF. Okay. Three. And then have one operation over there. Kind of looking for it. Oh, wow. Wild things have been in here. Hmm. Okay. Let's go. Let's take these. Do you want a scrounger in here? A what? A scrounger. A scrounger? Yep. Am I a scrounger? I'm a scrounger. I forgot to fill these doors. Yeah, yeah I, I, have that, I have that problem. It's a good one to have, though. Yep. Hmm. It's, it's always nice finding things you had all the time yeah. and you didn't know it. <laughs> I, oh, that's fine. I know. You can explore your own space you every once in a while. It. I know. And you open this thing up. <laughs> God, really? Yeah, yeah, I was looking for that like a year ago. I don't know. Oh, I was surprised myself. It's a lot of fun. So can you walk me through this thing from the front to back and what the components really are um, are doing? It's kind of a backup system that would work on batteries with the unit here. Oh, that one does? For supplying hydrogen bands frequencies. Okay. These are auxiliary pieces for maybe to be used. These are actually solid RF amplifiers <clears throat> that were used in the Navy ship's countermeasure system. Okay. And they work on ordinary voltages. They put a little RF in, a lot of RF will be transmitted out. These were actually countermeasures and probably still classified, I don't know. But I got them off um, HMCS Yukon. So they're experimental, these pieces. So we have a lot of lines coming in here, feeding down here, shape, field shape and stuff. Yeah, I'll be careful. I'm, I, I like the high voltage and playing with this stuff. So oh, these are waveguides. Yeah. This is the outside part. So those are the waveguides. There's more waveguides on here though, just those two? This is all the way down to the end. Okay. Just two. Yeah. This uh, slightly out of phase with each other. They are out of phase with each other. And these are kind of reflective 
devices here that uh, that you see in exotic ways. Like here is an example of a commercial unit. That how weird it looks, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Similar. Uh, these uh, were straight as well as were one way stuff. These are tracks. Are you using those for tuning? Yeah. Okay. It's called traps and RF. Okay. I'm a laser guy. Yeah. <clears throat> Adapted uh, catheter, electrostatic catheter ray tube. Okay. And we have down here, more or less for lower, lower frequencies. And they call, they call these a variometer. Oh, that's the variometer. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. So, And that is the phase shifting, right? Yeah, it's got a coil inside of it that rotates. Well, what frequencies are going through that then? Oh, uh, that's no, uh, no, just above broadcast. Not on broadcast, just above. And that's low voltage? Low voltage, uh, low wattage. Okay. And this is ELF here. Okay. Extremely low frequency, or ELF, and you rotate. And we have here, just adjustments, reflective, reflective stuff. <laughs> and here we're getting to the danger area. <laughs> you got the high, high voltage up there. We have this round ball here where the hydrogen bands information shoots along the side of it. Giving it information. That's part of the external set too. I'm just going to ask me why is it here. Okay. I just like it. I was going to use it for something else. Uh, so we have um, AC 16,000 volts. 16,000? Mm hmm. Right over there. And we have the generator's white box down here, the DC generator. Variables from 0 to 100,000 volts DC. Very faithful units right now operating at 20,000 volts DC. Now standby electrostatic generator. I found that it, uh, I just leave it like that without it running. It's okay as well. I, I don't know. I mean, that's still experimental. I haven't been doing much with this area for quite a while. And pick up loops. Which ones would pick up loops, these guys? Yeah, yeah. And what does that help? Well, it form the field of like an antenna structure. Okay. And that's a very... No, I'm not going to that. very end of the complex pattern, much designed with um, like a warship. Coming with the system. You have to... So you've... You've got your high, you've got your high voltage. You've got your RF frequencies, and they're basically just all combining to create a particular. And in fact, <coughs> yep, experimental. I, I don't even know how I'm doing it. Yeah, but that's the way it works, right? Mm -hmm. If you don't experiment, you'll never figure it out. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All good things come by accident. The best discoveries are all accidental. Oh yeah. <laughs> so none of this, well yeah, these came from Canada. Yeah. These pieces here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this one. No, 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 no. That's these kind of turning information flags, so. Copy stuff. Putting it in working order. Backup unit. So this current device, this ray gun, you are tuning it to try to dilute the radiation, make a uh, make basically a radiation-free bubble. Mm -hmm. And and this is directional, or is it 
omnidirectional. No. Omnidirectional. It is. Yeah. yeah. Does put out a bubble. Okay. Do you, you have any idea? It sounds crazy, but it, it does. <laughs> yeah. What What do you think the radius is on this guy? It's the biggest one you ever built. Uh, yeah. I let Nancy map out the radius. Though I I don't. I, yeah. When I quit, I you know that's in Canada. I just I never again. But. I took it to the Gulf of Mexico and got good results. Yeah. I'm coming here, set up for her. Let her become the scientist. Yeah, um, she's becoming quite the scientist. Oh yeah, she's really smart. She's doing good. Do you want to show more or to see more? Or just... I don't know. I'm, 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 I'll be here for a little while. I think I'll have some more questions later. Hey. You're good. I just want to. Uh, cool. Like I said, I'll forget. So if I don't film something, I'll forget it. Yeah, like finding I mean, those hidden treasures. <laughs> good idea. Yeah. So we can carry that back. Keep out. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. So. Knock them up. Bear parts. Oh yeah. Every drawer is full of stuff. I've got similar. Mm. I've got so many things. Hello, streets. Some good connectors, though. Oh, this radar. I've got one of the neat ones. Uh, these guys, yeah, they are off the countermeasures, I believe. That's vintage. Okay, that's vintage. Lots of, lots of cool stuff. Oh, it's connected. Do you normally do you normally salvage a lot of your components off of the off the old equipment? As yeah. you as you go through it, you determine something that you're gonna take apart? Or just something that doesn't work, you take it apart. Kind of if it doesn't work, take it apart. Like on the navy ship, they would have drawers like this up to the ceiling just for the parts. Spare they parts. Used. Yeah. Brand new spare parts. Oh god, yeah. Vacuum tubes. Oh yeah. Um do I have anything that's in the original box? I had a lot of fun going through, through all that stuff. I know I got some uh, I'm around a bunch of lights somewhere. The vacuum tubes are a lot of fun. We got a few it's boxes. Part, you know? <laughs> two boxes and crates. There's a riot. Yeah, you know, look at all the lights I got off the warship too. Oh man. Yeah. So if you were to if you were to sit down with a box of components, you could build a uh, you could build whatever it is you were trying to construct. Yeah. With just components. Yes, I could. What are some of the components that you built for your experiments? Some of the custom some of the custom components. Here or in Vancouver? In Vancouver. Oh, a lot of custom stuff. Uh, yeah. Like what? Like is it stuff you couldn't find that you needed a particular thing to do? Stuff that didn't exist. Well, what kind of things was that? Interferometers, fuel chippers, uh, specialty coils, transformers. Yeah, I got lots of videos of that. Hmm. Actually, the science has filmed a lot of the effects before it sold off. Uh, yeah, so I have been very busy learning and studying a lot of stuff. And Vancouver is weird. I mean, it had my friend of Tesla live there. Okay. And he had a house full of unpublished stuff at Tesla. Thomas Lee Richardson. 
Did you get to go through some of that and look at he some of those things? He would show me, yeah. Is that where you got some of your ideas at? Yeah, for talking to Thomas. Okay. So Thomas, what? It's just wild, I mean. Yeah. Original fr furniture, original documents, original manuscripts. Tesla's original mm. work. Hmm? What happened to all that stuff? Well, Thomas got uh, started, to, started to get ill from old age, put in a nursing home. We, the Tesla people in Canada, they wanted to save the stuff. Government won't allow us to touch it. Really? Until they find relatives who would take it away, you know. Mm. Got to make sure he doesn't have relatives and all this stuff. And then it just sort of vanished and shipped over. I was told it was shipped overseas. You know, we thought we should save it. Yeah. Especially some of that. So did you construct some of these interesting designs that you've, that you read about? I listened to old timers. And, yeah, I got ideas. See if it's feasible and do it, build it. Here comes John!